Hello everyone, it's Mir. We're getting very close to the end of our journey through Street Fighter V's Definitive Edition patch notes. In this video we're going to go over the changes to Chun Li, the strongest woman in the world. And strong she was, especially during Season 1, even though she didn't get to claim any major. After the nerfs and the bunch of buffs that she got over the seasons, many players claim she's once again worthy of hanging around with the best, but her very limited success in tournaments seems to show otherwise. I know that some people seem to get upset when I say that, but I'm often referring to consistently taking on very stacked tournaments, not one-off occasions. In that regard, you will have to agree, Chong Li struggled to claim the top spot. Until now, maybe? Let's go over the changes to see what's different. Stenny Heavy Punch now has more recovery on whiff, as well as having a bigger hurtbox around the feet during the recovery itself. This is part of the great nerf of all the abusable normals left in 345, and Chun Li's must have been on top of the list. Sending Heavy Punch was a very annoying normal before, being quite safe and long range, as well as difficult to whiff punish. So now Chun players will have to be a bit more careful using this in neutral. Chun Li's back Heavy Punch, Hakei, now knocks back opponents in the air for longer when it lands as a crush time. Now you'll be able to juggle into normals more comfortably. You won't necessarily need to cancel it to pick up a combo. If you do, you can now combo into her V-Skill 2 Wazanshu. Combined with the changes to her V-Skill 2, she will now have access to new juggles, leading to some extra v gauge gain and some decent damage with bar. Forward Heavy Kick's Foot Hurtbox has been reduced to more consistently hop over lows. However, this only happens quite late, after frame 15. So Capcom probably wants players to use the long active frames to fish for counter pokes in neutral, and maybe score a crash counter. Chong Li's stomps lost 10 damage each, overall also reducing the damage of her Visco 1 combos. The Visco 1 follow up kick also lost a total of 30 damage as well, probably for the same reason. However, Heavy Lightning Legs will now juggle more consistently in the corner, as it had a tendency to go under opponents. It still is worth doing the old corner combos, but it's a change that could be useful in other situations as well. EX Spinning Bird Kick now has an extended hitbox upwards after it successfully connects. This change is here to prevent characters from falling out of the move, especially when used as an anti-air. Capcom already tried to fix it in the past, so they clearly intend the move to be usable that way. Crouchy Heavy Punch got a fairly odd rework. Most notably, its advantage on block went from minus 5 normally, or minus 2 during V Trigger 1, to being plus 1 instead. However, there is now a gap in between the two hits that the opponent can interrupt. It seems that Capcom wants Chum players to use this as an advancing move to exploit opponents who block a lot. However, being only plus 1, it seems to have limited uses, maybe mostly against 4 frame characters, or people who are sleeping at the wheel. Suitotsu Ken is Chun Li's forward or back medium punch. It now will always be plus 5 during V Trigger 1, which means she will always be able to link the EX legs off of this and do fancier stuff on counter hit. Hazan Chu itself is now minus 2 on block during V Trigger 1, while the normal version stays minus 4. In a way, you could consider this like Chun Li's own upside down kick for the duration of the V Trigger as well as having some good horizontal range if you hold forward during the move, which could be used to hop over some attacks that the opponent might stick out to prevent you from getting close. Speaking of, Frankiko V Trigger 1 itself also lasts 25% longer now, giving you some extra time to land hits as the timer also drains during combos. Overall, it's kinda hard to say what you make of this patch. V Trigger 1 was most definitely buffed, and that was Chun Li's weaker choice when it came to the two, while the other remained the same. V Skill 1 got overall nerfed, while V Skill 2 got a little bit better. I'm not sure what you think of Crouching Heavy Punch, but I'm sure that the Standing Heavy Punch change will be noticeable instead. I suppose Capcom thought Chun was in a good spot, which probably makes sense considering what many players seem to think already. So we'll see how that goes. I know some pros have tried to make her work for a while, so maybe it will be finally the time this season. I'll live to see the day when Chun Li wins one major and people are gonna go, See, I told you she was always good. Can't wait. Let me know in the comments what you think of the changes. As always, more content is on the way to our channel, so make sure to stay tuned if you enjoy videos like these. See you all in another video.